Shaitan rejoiced when Adam السلام, came out of paradise. But he did not know that when a diver sinks into the sea, he collects pearls and then rises again. The path always starts with trials and tests. Then comes the period of patience and reliance. And the end is enlightenment, guidance and victory. A tear that runs down a believer's cheek is more beneficial than a thousand raindrops on the earth. When a person spends his entire day with no concern but Allah alone, Allah will take care of all his needs and take care of all that is worrying him. He will empty his heart so that it will be filled only with love for him. The keys to happiness are three. Being grateful when blessed, being patient when tried, hasting to repent when one sins. The most beneficial remedy is that you preoccupy yourself with thoughts of what should concern you and not those that should not concern you. Sitting with the poor and less fortunate people removes the ego and pride from your heart. The one who is truthful does not care about his status in the eyes of the creation. If a heart becomes attached to anything other than Allah, Allah makes him dependent on what he is attached to, and he will be betrayed by it. The key to all good is longing for the hereafter, and the key to all evil is love of the world and extended hopes. This worldly life is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, you will never be able to do so. If you turn your back towards it, it has no choice but to follow you. Beware of every hour and how it passes, and only spend it in the best possible way. Do not neglect yourself, but render it accustomed to the noblest and best of actions, and send to your grave that which will please you when you arrive to it. Wasting time is worse than death, because death separates you from this world, whereas wasting time separates you from Allah. Never do the love of song and the love of Qur'an come together in a person's heart, except that one expels the other. When Allah tests you, it is never to destroy you. When He removes something in your possession, it is only to enter your hands for an even greater gift. The crying of the sinners is more love to Allah than the tasbih of the arrogant. Allah does not close a door to His slave out of wisdom, except that he opens two others to him. Whoever thinks of the greatness of Allah will never be at ease in committing wrong actions. Don't ruin your happiness with worry, and don't ruin your mind with pessimism. Don't ruin your success with deception and don't ruin the optimism of others by destroying it. Don't ruin your day by looking back at yesterday. As long as you are performing prayer, 
you are knocking at the door of Allah. And whoever is knocking at the door of Allah, Allah will open it for him. Had Allah lifted the veil for his slave and show him how he handles his affairs for him and how Allah is more keen for the benefit of the slave than his own self, his heart would have melted out of love for Allah and would have been torn to pieces out of thankfulness to Allah. Therefore, if the pains of this world tire you, do not grieve, for it may be that Allah wishes to hear your voice by way of dua. So pour out your desires in prostration and forget about it and know that verily Allah does not forget it. Al Hafiz ibn Rajab rahimahullah said, he was an accomplished scholar of Islamic science, and no one could rival him in his deep understanding of the Quran and the prophetic saying, and his interpretations were unique in accuracy. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah said, he was most friendly and kind-hearted. He never envied anyone. He never caused harm to anyone. He never bore prejudice against anyone. And I was the closest to his heart. Furthermore, I do not know anyone who is more devoted in his worship than him in our time. <laughs>